everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Batman Arkham Asylum. In the last video, Dr. Young was murdered. Joker took her out and kidnapped Quincy Sharp. That's a funny thing about Batman, especially in this game. Like, Batman's always having to save people and a lot of people get kidnapped in this game. Like, spoilers alert. Um, oh, we already defeated these people before, but I guess we gotta do it again. Um, spoilers alert. Commissioner Gorin gets kidnapped again, so we need to rescue him twice in total. Batman, you're a freaking idiot! Oh my god! Um, well, I in no way intended Batman to fly down right in front of that guy, but he decided to be a big old ding-dong about things, apparently. But yeah, like, um... Uh, Commissioner Gordon gets kidnapped twice, uh, Sharp, uh, like, Warden Sharp was just kidnapped. Everyone gets kidnapped in this game, like, Batman's usually having to save Robin, at least, uh, judging by the, um, uh, the Adam West TV show, Batman's always having to rescue Robin, um, at least when they're not both in need of rescue, like, uh, Batman is tied up to this giant drill chair. How will he stop them? Check out next time. Same bat time, same bat channel. Um, but yeah, so... I can't believe it took me so long to say this whole intro. Oh god, that guy's turning around. Not anymore though, but we are we got shot and killed. Yeah, I'm not doing a very good job of this right now. Apparently... I'm a freaking idiot. Um, but you know, th th this is a lot easier than it looks. We just need to freaking use our gear. Usually I like, uh, going, like, just plain stealthy approach. But, uh, at, at least in this game. In, in the next game we get some better gear for this kind of thing. Can we just go ahead and use the thing like that? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna do the same thing we did before with this guy. We'll just do the stealth takedown. Then I think we're actually going to jump up above up there and try using one of the uh, psionic batarangs because maybe that will work um, if we're able to throw it before Joker like alerts everyone. No? Okay, okay. How, d what does the psionic batarang do? <laughs> because maybe I don't even know. Uh, psionic batarang. Uh, aim, throw, select gadget. Tur uh, tune, to, uh, tune to resonate to the exact frequency of the nearest Arkham's suicide caller, attracting that henchman. Oh, Never mind. That totally does not do what I thought it did. It's a, it's a distraction device. I thought that this... Uh, how, uh, is there a different item in Arkham City that does what I thought it did? I thought that the psionic battering was an item that you throw it and it takes down uh, one guy instantly, kind of eliminating, uh, eliminating him from the fight. That shows why reading is very important, kids. <laughs> like, re if I read that, I would actually know what that item did, but apparently I decided, decided to be an idiot. So let's go ahead and come over here. Uh, we could just knock down that one dude for the t Oh, come on! No! No, no! We are not being defeated again! Okay, that guy's still down, actually, so let's get this dude. Now we'll jump over here. We should be safe beyond this corner. I don't think this guy could grab us, uh, just to be safe. Oh, come on. Batman's down! Batman's down. didn't stand a chance! <laughs> yeah, yeah, Joker, be your old... Jokety self. We are doing really bad right now, and I seriously apologize for that. <laughs> Apparently, I'm playing like a freaking idiot, but all. Uh, this time, we're gonna make it. We're the bat, we're the noble warrior of justice, and there's nothing anyone can do to stop us. We're too strong. In fact, let's go ahead and play it smart and go ahead and just hit both of these guys now. Or we could go ahead and hit him like that. Apparently, somehow, that guy didn't notice what we were doing. Now it's gonna be easy peasy lemon squeezy. If that guy tries to get up, which he is, I'm just throwing our batarang into him, and now, uh, he's dead meat. There we go. Probably should've just done it like that in the first place, but apparently, um, apparently I suck. So, where... I think we go back this way. We do, of course, have our little detection unit, or whatever, so we could go ahead and keep on, uh... Following the warden's little staff, I'm a doohickey. Oh, go, oh wow! Mm, 
Oh no! I missed uh, the rest of Car Harley Quinn's dialogue. I want to hear more of that big old uh, spanking action. Oh shoot. <laughs> well, that's not good for us. We are using our feet right now to walk on the floor of the asylum, so I guess we're, uh... We're good, just gonna have to, uh, let Joker chop him off the next time we see them. I mean, Batman never really needed his legs, um... Oh my god, I don't know if this would be cool or like the dumbest thing anyone's either heard of, but wouldn't it kind of be cool for there to be like a cyber Batman, like a, a robot version of Batman or something? What's a good way to take these guys out? We could glide up here. We probably could, I, I don't know if we even need to fight these guys, so we probably could consider just ignoring them. Because I think we are just trying to simply bypass this room, but we'll, we'll see how things go. Let, let, let's try to do the stealthy approach and avoid them at first. Um, we can keep going that way, but they'll almost certainly see us. So you know what? I think best thing to do would be uh, go ahead and throw our batterings on those two. Get the weapons off hands immediately so we can um, deal with them easily. Yeah, 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 actually, they both drop their guns. So as long as we keep a track on, do, uh, keep an eye on all of these jokers, they won't be uh, all that bad to deal with. Why do all the criminals uh, go barefoot? You would think some of them would actually prefer life with socks. That's a weird thing. Uh, when, when, I, when I was a kid, and I think this actually is certainly a thing for most people, so I'm not kind of the odd one, but uh, isn't it weird how, like, Lots of uh, kids, when when they get older, start to actually grow fond of socks. Like, like when you're a kid, you you, you never want to wear socks. Always want to go barefoot everywhere you go. And that guy, like, he's uh, th this is like Clayface right here or something. I don't know how the hell he went through that <laughs> intensive treatment sign. He did some intensive uh, body melting or something like that. Ah, nice. We got a new upgrade. Let's go ahead and check that out. Um, so, remote control battering, that one's awesome, but I think we gotta go for the try one, that one's gonna make us way too powerful, uh, if we could take down three guys with one throw from time to time, so let's go ahead and get that, that'll actually probably be the weapon that we'll use more often than not, Ooh. Poor guy, poor poor man. But really, the warden sharp, uh, warden sharp probably deserves it, especially seeing as what is actually going on behind the scenes. That's one thing that I actually forgot to mention that I wanted to mention. The the thing that part of the thing that makes that that uh, that Easter egg with um his secret office part of what makes that so cool is that it shows uh it, it represents all this uh exactly what kind of stuff is going on behind the scenes. Because, uh, I won't give too much away, uh, for what goes on in the next game, Arkham City, um, even though it's been out forever. How is that out of view? There we go. Old man's gonna talk now, but as usual, we're just gonna do our usual thing and ignore him. But, um, but basically what happens is, uh, Sharp, who becomes Mayor Sharp by the, uh, the next, uh, game, he actually, uh, does, he's the one who, who, like, signs up for, um, Arkham City to be developed and put into construction, or at least he's the main man on, uh, on the plan. He's, he's the one who, uh, signs it off and everything like that. So, um, but, but the reason why he does it is actually because he is working for, um, uh, Hugo Strange, who has actually been using, um, uh, some of, uh, what's his name? The, the Mad Hatter's, like, hypnosis toxins and drugs and stuff like that to actually control the Warden. So, um, it's, it's just really cool and interesting, seeing as that puts into perspective that not only the Warden is actually being drugged and controlled right now, but that shows that even though we can't see him in this game, behind the scenes, the, uh, big baddie Hugo Strange is doing a lot of evil stuff. Let's see what this guy has to say for us. Thank you, Batman. The guard wouldn't have lasted much longer. Is he okay? He struck his head when they knocked him to the ground. Move him away from here as soon as you can. Take him to the medical facility. It's the safest place on the island. Okay. 
I'll go with him as soon as he's able to stand. Which will probably be by the time the other guys are able to stand. Making my efforts completely pointless. A uh, Joker Asylum. Oh, wonderful, we're going back into the cell blocks, okay. You have to travel around so much in the Arkham games. Like, you you, you never stay put in one place. Ah, nice, an interview tape, my favorite! Let's see what we've got here. Taped patient evaluation one. Patient name is Victor Zab. Diagnosed clinically insane after the murder of at least 20 women in the Gotham area. Hello, Victor. I'm Dr. Cassidy. Seeing as this is our first session, let's spend some time getting to know each other. I don't need to know you. No, I would love to, Victor Zaz. Victor Zaz, another one of the so misunderstood characters. I mean, he's so he's so thoughtful. He's leaving a mark for every person on on Earth, pretty much on his body. And really, that that's a lot of commitment to um to uh to like others, They're putting a a mark on your flesh just to signify. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Never mind. Uh, we actually, like, destroyed the floor when we attacked that guy, which is pretty freaking intense, to say the least. But let's finish this man! Beat him up! Oh god, he just smacked his head into the wall. That's sucky. Poor, poor fool. Arkham Asylum Penitentiary. Cool. Have we been over here before? I think this is our first time in this area, actually. Um, because we- I believe the cell blocks are actually where we started off the game, but... Clearly we haven't been to this area, or at least I don't think we have. Um, unless this is where we went with Scarecrow. Oh, no, this is totally where we went with... No, this isn't... I don't know, I'm confused. I'm, I'm, but I'm always confused. I don't know what's going on. That's why That's why I need Batman to, to take care of me. I need him to hold... I need him to hold me close in his arms, tell me he loves me, and uh, assure to me that everything's gonna be okay. Just like that Riddler trophy. I love the Riddler trophies in these games. Such a nice, it's such a nice, simple, and easy way. Oh, the freaking mirror, I forgot about that. Uh, oh yeah, that's a new, uh, that's a Riddler trophy. Can you break, uh, no, you can't break that. Get out of my way! I need to urinate. No caution tape is going to block the bat from using the bathroom. Or the bat room, as he calls it. That would actually be pretty great if Batman called the bat. <laughs> He's like, uh, Oracle, I need to use the little bat party. I'll be back before too long. Two people, one voice, no gun? Is that what it said? Oh, shoot, is this the Mr. Freeze section? Well, not the Mr. Freeze section. No, it's not. Okay, we're gonna start getting the crazy inmates. The insane ones. Um... I don't remember if these guys are, but these guys may have been tested on by Hugo Strange. Oh wow, that guy actually can grab you. Can I, uh, beat him up? Beat him up, Batman! Ah! Batman's too kind! As, uh, not willing to beat those guys up. I got a feeling we got a big fight coming up. There's like a lot of crazy music going on. And I just remembered exactly why that is. We're actually gonna get a lot of crazy stuff going on. Okay, this has to be it. Who's that for? Two people, one voice, no gun. Uh, oh, that's the ventriloquist's gun? I forgot that he uses a Tommy gun. The, the ventriloquist is a pretty cool guy. Um, for anyone who isn't familiar with Batman lore, he's basically just a guy who has a dummy. Uh, the dummy's kind of an alter ego of his, uh, and the dummy's like a, an evil gangster, so... We're actually gonna see the ventriloquist's dummy later on in this game. I... Uh, do we see it once or do we see it twice? It also shows up in Arkham City as well. It's actually a pretty prominent character in this game, surprisingly enough, despite the actual owner of it not uh, showing up anywhere. Let's check out this interview tape! Taped patient evaluation five. Victor is not responding to 
responding well to treatment. Victor, yesterday we spoke about the people you killed. Ah, the zombies. They are all people, Victor. They are zombies. Continuously shuffling through the daily grind, waiting for someone to liberate them. You mean, kill them. The police report states that you've murdered, or liberated, if you like, 20 young women in the last three months. Each had her throat slit and was left posed. They were all lucky to be chosen to receive my I doubt they would agree with you. Really? How about you, Miss Cassidy? As you take the elevator to your apartment each night, open the six locks to apartment 433, remember you forgot to buy your cat food. Again? How do you know where I... sit down on your favorite red chair, cat on lap, just waiting for something to happen. I can make it happen. I really like the voice actor for Victor Zaz in these games. It's, it's, uh, as with many actor, uh, voice actors in the series, it's the same guy from, uh, can we break that? No, but it's an emergency. The prison's been taken over. Um, but, uh, it, it's the same guy in this game as it, oh, okay, so the thing it doesn't happen quite yet. It's the same guy in this one as it is in Arkham, uh, City. And personally, I feel like he gets a little bit, uh... Uh, he, he get oh god oh god bat get out of the electricity get out get out you freaking fool oh okay there we go um personally i feel like he gets a little bit of a better chance to shine in arkham city uh because really all that we get of him in this game is the the two encounters that we've already had and just those interview tapes while he's got uh oh shoot forgot about this not interested in a bunch of flowers, Ivy. <laughs> okay, right He's so, like, now. nonchalant about that. Really Just don't care me. about a bunch of flowers. You running free. Poor children. I'll save you. My poor babies. Yeah, yeah, your poor babies. I think we actually get one of my favorite parts of the game coming up, if, if I'm correct then. One, one, uh, a, a cell we're gonna come across before too long. Which is, uh, kind of another easter egg in and of itself. In fact, is this the room? Oh, yes, this is the room! Hello, Warden Sharp, how's it going? Wait a minute. That's not Warden Sharp. That's Cash. What's up, Cash? You need to get me out of this cell. How'd you get in that cell? It's me, Cash. I'll Why is there so much clay in it? I can help you. What's up, Cash? Help. And why don't you have any bones, sucker? What's up with that? Of course, for anyone who doesn't know, this is uh, actually one of my favorite Batman villains of all time. Clayface. So freaking cool. He was uh, an actor in horror films who actually... Uh, kind of um, obsessed over his main role and when the the movie was gonna be remade he ended up killing the whole cast freakish accident turned him into a, a like transforming uh, clay monstrosity how, how do we get him to change do we talk to him like this because I know there's a way to make him know that you've uh, figured out who he is so you figured it out huh? ah there we go Good job. please keep it to yourself I've got a reputation to keep up Fun fact, uh, there's actually a reference to two different clay faces in there. Obviously, the first one is Basil Carlo, the first clay face, who, uh, is the man we're, we're seeing right there, I believe? Uh, or at least he should be if he's got the shape-shifting abilities. Um, and has no bones. Uh, but the second one is actually the third clay face, who was, uh, a man whose skin was toxic. Or is toxic, so he actually can't touch anyone. If he touches you, you'll get killed. And he found love in the only woman he could touch, this mannequin back there. So I don't know why they put the mannequin in this one cell. Clearly, they must have heard the wrong Clayface. They're like, uh, put, put that mannequin in the cell with Clayface. It'll make him happier. And then, uh, he's just like, oh, okay, we'll do that. Do we turn around to make this change? I don't think we do, but... Nope. 
doesn't work like that. If you actually do not discover, like, uh, or, or, or scan him or do the, uh, thing to check his bones, then actually you, um... He'll he'll make fun of you because he'll be like, oh, ha, 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 Batman, you idiot, you didn't figure it out. Another funny strike right here. This guy right here. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Uh, I believe this. I don't think he's a developer. The, he's like sick or something. Why is he holding his stomach? Maybe he's really got poop, but like the the I don't know. The toilet doesn't go anywhere, so he's like, God, I don't want poop in that thing anymore. But I've really gotta go. Um. Or maybe it's clogged. Uh, but I believe this guy's actually a dude who won a contest uh, for Arkham Asylum. That was basically, uh, I don't remember what the contest was, but obviously the reward was to have your face put into the game. And so that's the dude who won it. I have no idea what the guy's name is, but fun little uh, Easter egg right there. Since many people actually have no idea who that guy is. And they're like, who's that weird uh, random prisoner in red? Okay, we, oh. Uh, this is still not the way to him. I want to get him to shut up. Cause now Warren Sharp is just gonna be like, "Ah, oh, help me, please!" It's uh, chilling all over the place. Huh? Did he change now? No, still Aaron Cash. Maybe he doesn't change if you um, if you don't deal with him. Hey, Sharpie, what's up? Can you uh, learn to stop whining now? You have to help me. You look like crap. Maybe I can sneak you some shampoo. The plants, can't you hear them? They're crying out to me in agony. Yeah, well, I really don't have to look for this. Please let me out. They'll die without me. I don't know, Red. You're not on Mr. J's party list. Oh, well. Uh, please. Mm. Ah, what the heck. I'll cut you a break. Aww. Harley Quinn. That feels so much better. I love the girls of the Batman universe whenever they, uh, kind of help each other out. I mean, obviously, that's a very, very small example of it. Uh, and I'll continue after this. But yeah, in Batman the Animated Series, there's actually... Oh, shut the hell up, you freaking jerkwad. How about this? I'm gonna blow you up. That's how I'm gonna cut you free. You're gonna uh, get sent to Kingdom Come. But, um... Stop talking. <laughs> if I leave, will he stop? Because I actually want to say my thing. Oh, we actually can't leave. Well, uh, very quickly before he starts blabbing on again. Uh, and annoying all of us. Basically, there's an episode of Batman the Animated Series where, um, Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy team up. It's... I, I don't remember what that episode's called. But that's a really... It's... They're, they're, basically, the girls of the Batman universe are so... They're already, like, some of the greatest comic book characters of all time. But they're even better when they're matched up together, so... I just love the Batman universe so much. Let's destroy all the monitors. Monitors can go to hell! And then we'll free this, uh, blabbermouth here, here. He's taken control of the security overrides. I have the sequence generator, but without the terminal in my office, it's useless. Your terminal has been destroyed. Give me the sequencer. What? Oh, yes, of course. It's Why useless. wouldn't he give it to us? Half the code won't get you anywhere. We're trapped in here. Oh, yeah! Got the cybernetic sequencer. This thing is B A. Always. Let's see. So this thing, um, it's not the the most fun of items in the game, but I actually really like this thing a lot because it basically it's one of the best items in the game because it opens so many doors to the player. We basically gotta do this weird musical note thing. Just hold the the highest frequency we can on all these, uh, security switches and doors like you that, and they'll solve Lock everything. The when I leave. There he is. Good idea. Can't have someone of my stature falling back into their hands now, can we? <laughs> Good idea. Good idea. <laughs> Looks like we got our Quincy Sharp right here as well. What's up, buddy? Get I mean, Warden. Well, his name is you Quincy Sharp. the wrong Warden. He's an imposter. You know how many freaks are in this place. Wow! <laughs> that was rude. 
He's an imposter, even though Aaron Cash was just in this room and somehow disappeared and I came in his place. Batman, it's me, the Warden. You know me. If we scan him again, will he say like a you got me kind of thing? You can't leave me locked up in here. Hmm. And then swap, hear the goo noise, and there he is, yep. That's all three of the swaps, alright. Okay, so now he's just gonna laugh at us. Thought that happened eventually. God, I love Clayface, he's so freaking cool. Alright, well, um, I think we will go ahead and get the uh, Riddler trophy that was chilling up here, and then we will call it quits. So, uh, anyways... Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, a comment, and or subscribing if you have not. I am the Egg Scrambled Gamer, and I will see you all next time. <laughs>